Uh, I'm out here at, uh, I'm in Pasadena, I'm at Fremont Street and Grevelia Street. And I want to show you some, some pretty cool little uh, paintings they did here. Though I hate to film Muhammad Ali, I can't stand them. But here's, um, here's Sugar Ray Leonard and Roberto Duran, man, on the left. Right there, see him? Mano de Piedra. And that first, um matchup in 1980 uh, where uh, uh, Duran defeated Leonard see Leonard fought him straight up and do, didn't do a lot of that dancing that he learned from uh, from Muhammad Ali you know Muhammad Ali was one of those hit and run kind of guys and I, 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 I detested watching him box and I wish there was a Latino boxer in the 60s and 70s that was big enough to fight uh, Muhammad Ali, you know, and um, but if you come around this way, there's one man I do admire, and who broke, I believe he he busted Ali's jaw because he has such a big mouth. It's just Joe Frazier. This is a, this is a real man right here. I refuse to film Muhammad Ali, who's on the other side of this. I, I just find him detestable. I mean, he was a self promoter, calling himself, saying I'm the greatest and all that crap. You know, I, I just admire the, the, the thing about John Lennon. He's very quick-witted, right? So when uh, they did a photo off the Beatles did with uh, Muhammad Ali before he fought uh, Sonny Liston, in, I believe in Miami. I forget which, uh, which match this was because they fought twice. But Ali was reported to have said to the Beatles, you're not as dumb as you look. And John Lennon said... But you are, <laughs> you know. I mean, that's a that's a pretty good comeback line. Well, let me let me just zero in on the mano de piedra right here. This is a real boxer right here, man. That is a cool image of him because he was scary. You know, he would he would uh, grow out that goatee, and you know he would uh, intimidate people, intimidate other boxers when he grow that little goatee out, and he looked like a savage coming at you, man. I mean he. They said here, mano de piedra means hands of stone, you know, or hand of stone. That was that right cross he could knock you out with. And, um, you know, um, you know he, uh, he went on to have a rematch, and then he said that no mas thing went down. And, boy, I just wish that never happened. Because what would happen in that second match with uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, Leonard was monkeying around and acting stupid and, you know, doing that bolo punch crap that he learned from uh, Ali. You know, it's like, a, see what Ali did. He brought uh, a kind of like a um, like an entertainment thing to back boxing. He made it a, a fucking circus. You know what I'm saying? Well, well, just to just to film the culprit, just to get the whole picture here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put him on this film. But here's Ali here. When he um, uh, this is not co it's controversial. This is when he the second match with Sonny Liston. It is reported that he didn't even really make contact with Liston. That Liston just took a fall, and just fell on his ass. Didn't want to get up. He didn't want to fight him anymore. But uh, on the on the first fight, uh, well, you know, well Cassius Clay, uh, before he became Muhammad Ali, before he became a Muslim, of the first the first fight, um. The um, that that was he took a beating. I mean, uh, obviously, Cassius Clay, um, i.e. Muhammad Ali, uh, really put a whipping on uh, on Sonny Liston on the first fight. But um, but here is um, you know, Sugar Ray Leonard. I I, I really didn't have any use for him. Though. You know, <laughs> the only thing I the thing is that I'm patriotic and he was an American. But when he fought Duran, boy, that was a tough one because you know Duran is part Mexican and. Uh, I believe Panamanian, and uh, you know, so you kind of kind of biased toward him because he was a macho guy. You know, I mean, he went in there and he fought, he boxed, he didn't screw around, man. He went in there and did business. Uh, one fight I liked, uh, the the first fight after the uh, Leonard debacle with a Nomas business was with uh, Luigi Mincio or Luigi Mincio in in Las Vegas, and that I love watching that fight. If I, if I could see it again on YouTube, but he's uh really getting it on I mean he's doing his thing defense bobbing weaving I mean th this is a, a total boxer 
And when he fought Marvin Hagler, that was, that was a sight to behold. And I believe Hagler won that on points. And then he he he, he he's had other matches. Um, like he fought. Uh, boy, I mean, he he had so many great matches with a lot of uh, boxers. Uh, Buchanan when he won the, uh, I believe it was a lightweight championship. And uh, I mean, this he has such a stellar career. And I kind of wonder what's going on with Duran because I I don't I don't even hear you know much about him anymore. But uh, there it is, man. I mean, I think they did a great thing on this. A nice image. Uh, Mano de Piedra. I have a lot of, lot of, uh, a lot of respect for this guy. It's just that Mano, that that you know Mas thing was, is still controversial. Why he, just basically gave up. But he said in an interview he was tired of Leonard screwing off and jacking around and jacking off with his, with his bolo punching and goofing off like the crap he learned from Muhammad Ali. You know, he made it a, a fucking circus. You know what I mean? It should have been a real match. Like the Luigi Mincio fight. I mean, that was a boxing match, you know. And, um, but, you know, I can go on talking about it, but, because he was great. But here comes the train. But hey, take care. Uh, uh, I'll send this to you. Take care. Bye.